the secret of taking your range game to the course. You hear it all the time. People go out and they say, I was hitting it so good on the range today. It felt amazing. As soon as I got onto the golf course, I felt like a whole other person. There's reasons for that. Look at where we're standing right now. Every shot out here is a flat lie. As soon as you get to the golf course, it's a whole different story. What I'm going to teach you today is how to turn any lie, uphill, downhill, side hill, any lie, into a flat lie. So we find ourselves on an uneven lie. Here the ball is above our feet. Now some of the normal advice typically you might hear is swing towards, swing down the slope, swing to the slope. Whichever way you feel that your body is leaning, swing that direction. This advice is going to cause you a lot of inconsistencies for a few reasons. For instance, one, let's say we're on an uphill lie here, we try to swing to the slope. Now what's going to happen is because you're not in a position to pivot around an axis, it's going to force you to start swinging with your arms up towards the hole, start throwing body parts at it. This does a couple of things. One, it's going to cause you inconsistencies in your power application because you're not putting the same number of pounds into it every time. And whenever you move and you pull with your arms, it levers you backwards. Now, if you go back and you study the alignment, now alignment is one of the most difficult concepts to grasp. But once you understand it, it will make everything fall into place. It'll, you'll begin to feel how the whole swing is controlled through the ground and through the feet. And it's all about ball position. You want to set up, you want to turn any lie into a level lie. The way you do this, and by level lie, I mean that you're able to still get your power in the same manner, from the same rotational move, the same exact shot anywhere, and your shoulders will maintain level. As you rotate, everything will come through pivoting around an axis. That's the trick to this shot. Put yourself in a position. Feel yourself, almost like you were coming up to kick the ball, and you're rotating around an axis. So what you got to do, now the rule of thumb is typically, the rule of thumb is it goes back in your stance, the ball is going to go back in your stance, no matter what the lie undulation, and when this happens, if you understand like a geometric compass, wherever this axis is, and the ball's relativity to it, when you're coming around that circle, that ball is going to be spit off right on a tangent. So what you're doing is you're looking for a position to get yourself, so whenever that ball goes back, you're looking for a position that you still match, match up your alignment and are able to turn all the way through. So when the ball goes back, you have to aim left. The ball goes back, you're aimed farther to the right. So what you're looking for is a stance that is going to be more open. The ball goes back in your stance and everything still applies exactly the same. Feel your arms drop, drift in the counter fall, and rotate through. You find your feet, you'll find the best swings and the easiest power you can possibly imagine.